Hello, this is Raina with Lilo Crafts, and today I am coming on with such a fun project, totally made with scraps. And so this was 100% inspired by Tina of Shabby Dabby Doodah, and I will put a link to her channel in the description below. And they are fabric and paper and lace scraps. So basically anything goes, anything that you have that you can combine to make a beautiful embellishment. You can incorporate that into this project. Now, I think she called these fabric paper scrappies. <laughs> so I just love that. And I am going to share with you seven and then we'll make one together so you can see. But let me just say the secret ingredient that I have never used is this Amazon packaging. And when she used that and I got Amazon packaging in the mail yesterday. I'm like, oh, I have to do it. I have to do it, just meant to be. So you start with some fabric and you layer it up. You wanna put five to seven layers on them. And so you can see here, this time I use fabric and then I use tool and then I use that Amazon packaging and then I use some sparkly rickrack and then I did a lace and then a vintage book page. And then I topped it off with a cut apart and I have a heart that I punched out and I just added three stickers and I've inked the whole thing and tried to fray the edges. Now in her video, she stapled them all together and I might cover that with something. So you can staple them or you can sew them any, or you can just glue them, anything that you would like. So this is my first one. And then here is my second one and this has fabric and then this has that drywall tape these this little grouping of embroidered flowers here's that image on amazon packaging book page a lace scrap and then another cut apart and a sweet bow so you can see in this one i hid the staple so i did one staple but then i also used hot glue and if you guys are hearing the rumbling we are in the middle of a thunderstorm if, please excuse my shadows as well it's quite early here in the morning before or seven o'clock so okay so those are my first two my next two are these and so you can see I've got that plaid fabric down here again and this time the book page before the Amazon packaging and then I've got pink lace and then look at this I have some of this sequin tool i have never used it i've had that in my stash probably for two years or so so i thought oh that would be perfect this time i added a sentiment of nature and have this beautiful blue bird i just fussy cut that bird and inked it all around and i've got a sweet little grouping of flowers here this one is pink my other one is peachy and i did buy these on to move but i believe they have them at hobby lobby as well. So I've got that one. Then I've got this one and this is like a see-through piece of fabric as you can see. So you don't have to have a solid fabric. I've got see-through and then I use burlap back here and then I've got the Amazon packaging and then I have seam binding over here and then I have book page and then a doily. So I cut the doily in half and a cut apart here that I've inked around and I've used a sweet little bow and I topped that with a little pink pearl. And this time, you guys, I normally ink with vintage photo, but you know, I have this walnut stain in my stash from a long time ago. So I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna use that. So I use walnut stain, it is a little bit darker. And on the Amazon packaging, I wanna say, I think you can see here, that I use both the shiny side and the matte side. So whichever didn't have like the black showing, that's that's what I used. Okay, so now I've got three more here. So let's start here. So on this one, I've got a yellow and white plaid and I've um, fr I frayed all the edges. I did burlap again this time. 
I used this beautiful lavender trim and thank you to my sweet friend Jana Kay for sharing that with me. And she is with Sunflowers and Crafts and I will put a link to her channel in the description below. You gotta go check her out. She is such an angel. And I've got the Amazon packaging and then this lace, all these laces that I have were shared with my sweet friend Dale of Not Too Shabby Sheep. And so I'll put a link to her channel in the description below. And she sells her stuff, you guys. So all you have to do is tell her what you want and she will have it. Okay, then I fussy cut out this iris. Iris is the flower for the state of Tennessee, which is my new home. And then I put the word summer because this is so bright and happy. And so I've got that one. Then next I have this one. And I believe this is a Jen Hadfield uh, sentiment that I had in my stash. And again, I use that lightweight fabric. And this time I've got white satin trim down here, cut on an angle. The same piece is layered up, but I've got a poppy, again, inked with that walnut stain. And then that, I think that is just so sweet. And then I've got this cotton fabric over here, burlap again, all the same pieces, but this time I use a sticker. So I shared the other day that Dale shared some of these stickers with me, and I don't know about you, sometimes I like use only a couple, and then I have that whole pack of stickers. So I'm determined to use that pack of stickers because I do love it. So I'm keeping it out on my desk and adding it where I can. And I've got a light pink bow here, and I added a tiny little stone over there. I think that is so sweet and a cut apart again at the top. Okay, so that's seven. Okay, so let's make one together. If you guys like this video, I would really appreciate it. A thumbs up. I am such a small channel and it's so hard to get my video shown to anybody, but the thumbs up and the comments really do help. We are gonna start with a base. And what I first do is just kind of pull the edges. If you to fray them a little bit more. So you're gonna fray up your fabric. And you can ink your fabric if you want to. I am not gonna ink my fabric. Then I've got some burlap, and this is the same thing. You just pull these strands off, and I'm gonna just layer that down. I'm kinda gonna stagger left and right, and that is just so that there is something a little more visually pleasing for the eye. And hey, how are you guys doing? You know what? I tried something the other day. My husband and I tried Andy's frozen custard for the first time. So are you guys in a state where you have Andy's? Dale told me to try the James Brownie, which is basically vanilla custard with hot fudge in the middle. And then it has brownie pieces and it has peanut butter in it. So if you like chocolate and peanut butter, it was a delight in the mouth, that is for sure. Okay, so I've got some old vintage book page that I'm putting down over here. And then I am, let's see here, I'm gonna scoot this over even more to the left. And this to the right, this more in the middle. Okay, and then I have these little satin fabric pieces. So I'm going to just kind of, I want that poking out like that a little bit. And then I'm going to put my piece of lace like that. Okay, and so if you are going with the staple method, you wanna make sure you staple where you can get everything through, meaning all the layers. I might just cut this lace just a hair. And this is just a scrap piece of lace. Next, I've got this Maggie Holmes piece of paper. And I'm just gonna ink around. Now, if you wanted to make the edges fancy, you could certainly just clip the edges. And let me just show you what I'm talking about. You could just quickly just nip off these tiny little edges, or if you have an edge punch, or corner rounder, you can do that on the ear. I'm just going to ink those. Again, all we're doing is creating delight for the eye to focus on. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. 
by putting some hot glue on the back of that. And the hot glue will also serve to hold the lace in place. And then I fussy cut out this butterfly, but it looks like I didn't get close enough over here. So let me just cut that. And again, I'm using walnut stain this time. You can see it's a little bit darker on the inking. Okay, so I'm gonna put this butterfly right there. Now, you wanna make sure, looks like I got all the pieces down. Okay, then I also have this little bow that I tied. I'm like, okay, just like that. I'm just gonna put a dab of hot glue to hold that in place, like that. And then the last thing I want to do is to put a little bit of bling on that butterfly. So all this is, is from the Dollar Tree and it comes, you know, on a roll. So I've had this for quite a while. And so I think three is gonna do great on the body. So I'm just going to put a little dab of hot glue there. Okay, and I'm gonna put that down just like that in the center. Oh, I think that is so sweet. So thank you guys so much for spending time with me today and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.